Yeah, we're uh, in Moraga, and yeah, we'll just, uh, we're with uh, Marcus Schroeder. And uh, I know Marcus's name from De La Salle. That was years ago. Then it was Princeton. Maybe to talk about, yeah, you're back at St. Mary's. Uh, how, how did this happen? You're an assistant coach. Yeah, so I obviously played at uh, De La Salle and then played at Princeton. And then uh, I took a year off. I graduated in 2010 and took a year off and thought I was going to do like a a regular type of job, nine to five or whatever it was, maybe in the city, but uh, I took a year off from basketball and was working and missed basketball a lot. And so uh, I had a connection here. I knew Coach Bennett from, he recruited a couple of my teammates at De La Salle. And then I knew him from, I played some open gyms here in the summer when I came back from the East Coast and I came and played open gym with uh, with some of the St. Mary's guys. and then. I also knew one of the assistants really well at the time. His name's Rick Croy, who uh, played for Coach Alaco at Northgate, and I kind of had a connection with him. And uh, so I was fortunate enough to to come to come on here and uh, and be a grad assistant um, starting out. So right, that's kind of how I got my start. I think uh, Rick Croy and Alaco they were like state champions, like about 1995 or so. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, 1995 Northgate. I think you're Rick me? was a senior and, and Coach Laco's son was a junior right, on, that, right. on that team. And so, so you've just been a little kid. And there are other connections. See, I was taping De La Salle games about 2000. Okay. And so you know the names like Joe C., uh, A.J. Cool, yeah. Chris Schlatter. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so I grew up like, I mean, I definitely grew up watching Northgate. And then I grew up watching those De La Salle teams and those state championship teams. And uh, yeah, A.J. Cool, Joe C., Chris Brown. I'm, I'm sorry, not Chris Brown, Charles Brown. Right. Um, and then the, the, also the, Chris Schlatter. The, Chris Schlatter. And then Com coming off the bench, uh, Demetrius Williams. You know, Demetrius Williams, right. Chris Odo, right. Doyle Rich. <laughs> well, uh, one Connor Familiator was the starting center. And, okay, yeah. No, this, this is great. We have, we have a lot of connections there. Yeah, but that, yeah. So you would have been, I'm trying to think, like 12 or so, or like 11, you, 12. And, yeah, yeah, I think I was 12. And I went to that game when Josie was, hit the two free throws. Up at Arco? Yep. Okay, and that's another thing. You know, I've tracked down a lot of these guys. Josie's down in Danville. So I yes. still, still got to track three kids now, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, heard, good I've guy. Heard. And, yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll track him down. And the other connection is I was over at um, uh, De La Salle yesterday talking with Scooter Berry. Okay. And, and then the, this, Coach Bennett might not even know this. Everyone knows uh, Scooter's dad, Rick. But on his mom's side, Pam's side, uh, she was Pam Hale. And that's, you'll have to look it up. Bruce Hale was the coach here at St. Mary's, Scooter's grandfather. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, over where I met you the first time, Madigan Gym. Okay. They talk, they talk about just being in Madigan Gym. I mean, there's a lot of history there. I mean. Yeah, yeah. no, there's, there's a ton of history. And obviously, um, you know, there's been some really good basketball teams here at St. Mary's. And one of them was in the 50s. And obviously, they played in Madigan. And uh, yeah, I mean. We always talk about how, what a great gym it is. It's uh, it can get really hot during the summer. It can get really cold during the winter, um, but it's kind of one of those gyms that's kind of timeless. You know, right. it's like I don't know. I, I actually like it like it more than McKeon at times. Right, I right. like playing it a little bit more. It's got a little bit more character, but no, McKeon is awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. also really no, great nobody. Gym. You guys got a tremendous advantage there at McKeon Pavilion, but I don't know how it would never fly with tickets or. Get get I don't know invite a really tough school I don't like North Carolina they would never come or I don't know somebody and then have a play there at Madigan and could you imagine uh, yeah. or, or could you imagine the uh, advantage you guys would have? It'd be sold out in about <laughs> twenty seconds. Exactly, and It'd be um, sold out in about twenty seconds. Right. Two hundred seats, two hundred yeah. tickets to sell. Yeah, one other history it was remember uh, the, the no name Jerry Tarkanian. Yeah, he brought UNLV in here about nineteen seventy five. Okay, they played a triple overtime game at Madigan. Did they, they, really? they they beat St Mary's, but he, he he said he would never come back, really? and he didn't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and no, I, I just like that also uh, you. I mean, I knew, uh, I, we joked about this. Uh, I mean, going to Princeton, uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, dumb guys at Princeton. Yeah. I mean, I could tell that you'd have a good personality. Yeah. Talk about, I mean, it must have been a real honor to play Ivy League basketball and to get an Ivy League education. Yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, it was, uh, it was great for me because was, I was away from home, obviously, for the first time, like most kids, but I was really far away from home. So I grew up a lot, and uh, as a person, I matured a lot. And, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, the academics were, were pretty tough, and, um, and the basketball was tough, too. Was, yeah. But De La Salle kind of prepared you for that. Like, Coach Laco and the way he ran his program was kind of college style. So yeah. I felt prepared going into the college basketball experience and 
you know, it was, uh, we had a couple of tough years, my first couple of years at Princeton, and then we kind of turned it around, and we had a couple of good seasons, my, my last two seasons, and, uh, you were a yeah, I mean, it was, it was a tremendous experience. You were a co-captain. Yes, I was. Yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah. co-captain yeah. my senior year. Yeah, so, yeah and also, was, yeah. was that? The, did you guys play against Jeremy Lin? Was he over? Uh, was he at Harvard? Yes. Okay. Ge yeah, ahead. Jeremy Lin uh, was an unbelievable player, and yeah, he was. He and I were the same year. Right. So, okay. Uh, we I've got to play him every single time we played Harvard. He was there. Did Did you? I mean, granted, I mean, his, his career has tailed off a little bit, but he had that, you know, that one couple weeks there at the Knicks. And uh, did you see that? You did you think he could be an NBA player? Or? Yeah, I did. I thought, you know, he there is his senior year. He had an unbelievable non-conference season. I think he had like thirty against UConn one time, and then uh, obviously he was really good in our league, the right. Ivy League, sure. in conference play. Um, and so, I, you know, I definitely saw it. I mean, I know, you know, I. I knew maybe he was borderline in terms of him getting drafted, but I thought yeah. he could play in the NBA. There's right. no doubt about it. Right. So. And I'm trying to think, we'll, we'll, you have to get to a meeting here pretty quick, so we'll have to wrap up. What we'll do is we'll stay in touch because what you do is right, it's right now when it's July, you're going to have a busy se uh, few weeks coming up. Tell people about that. There's like a recruiting period. That Yeah. Yeah. So July in college basketball is a big recruiting time. And, uh, you know, all the high school kids, they play on their club teams, and there's all these NCAA events. NCAA certified events where the club team goes and plays and you know if you're a college coach um, you go and pretty much evaluate all the players and uh, see if you think you know a certain kid is a good fit for your program and then you know if you go from there and you start recruiting the kid and uh, so yeah these next three weeks um, pretty much starting tomorrow through July 26th um, you know it's pretty much all recruiting time and evaluation time for for all the high school kids uh, Across the country, right? I was thinking, but that's what we'll do. You, it won't be like huge news. But we'll let you go do that, and then we can maybe talk to you when you get back. Yep. And then also, what we can do more, and maybe this will wrap up with this. I was just at Dallas Sal yesterday. Um, what is uh, one moment that uh, sticks with you? Uh, an athletic moment there at Dallas Sal. Oh uh, well, yeah. I guess it's it, well, not I guess. I, it's definitely like the I, my senior year. Our team won the state championship at Arco Arena, so. I, I mean, that's the best moment, uh, definitely in my high school career. High it's school, pretty, but pretty exactly, special. that's very special. And then here at uh, St. Mary's, uh, you've been here, I think, about three or four years. Yeah. What is a moment that sticks with you here at St. Mary's? Well, winning the WCC Tournament Championship and winning the Conference Regular Season Championship, which, which was my first year as grad assistant. And uh, we had Della Vadova and Rob Jones, who went to Reardon, and... Uh, we had Stephen Holt and Brad Waldo. We had a bunch of really good players, and uh, we won the WCC Tournament Championship um, in Las Vegas. Right. We won in overtime versus Gonzaga, yeah. and that was, it was a great win. And Yeah, it was, yeah, uh, you know, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Not too many people beat Gonzaga. No, uh, they were really good, yeah. and uh, obviously we were fortunate, but... Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll it was, wrap it was up. Good. I just learned something. You, uh, Coach Bennett's sending you on these, you know, to watch people in Las Vegas, Seattle, Los Angeles. When does he send you to Australia, or, or does he <laughs> only go to Australia? Yeah. yeah good question. Uh, we have other guys to do that. I might at some point, but right. um, I yeah. Think, I mean, well, we, we 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 divvy it up among the staff, yeah, but we have yeah, some guys cool. that. We'll have an assistant go to Australia yeah. from time to time. I'll, for I'll, sure. I'll put, wrap up on that note. I'll, I'll put in a good word. I'll say Marcus Schroeder, he looks like a guy that can do well in Australia. You, <laughs> you speak English. I speak yeah, English. Okay, I, very speak good. English. Okay. I don't have the accent, but okay, I do speak okay. English. Okay, no, 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 all serious. This is just the beginning, Marcus. I thank you for your time today, no and we'll stay in touch. It's been okay. a lot of fun. Thanks, yeah. Brian.